Get out that hole and let's add a custom crop to Minecraft. 121 Minecraft modding course is available down below. With over 11 hours of content covering everything from the basics all the way to block entities and custom mobs. Alright, we find ourselves back in Tell Your Once More. And in this tutorial, we're going to be adding a custom crop block to our Minecraft mod over here. That's going to be very interesting indeed. Now, for a custom crop, number one, we will need a little bit of the things that we talked about in the block states lecture. Why, when we added, or the block states tutorial, when we added the lamp block right here and looked at the Boolean property, because, well, crops basically need some sort of property, in this case, an integer property, to note, hey, how far along are we? on the age, right? Like how grown is this? But whatever the case may be, let's start over here in the tutorial mod block custom package where we will make a new Java class called the cauliflower, cauliflower crop block. I believe I've written this correctly. It looks like it. And this is going to extend from the crop block class over here. We're going to hover over this create constructor matching super. And there we go. Now we need a couple of things in this case. The first thing we can do though is control left click on the crop block class and actually take a look at the crop block class itself. You can see that the max age over here is seven. We have an age property and a couple of those things we will need as well. Highly recommended as always to take a look at vanilla to see some of the functionality. Now, obviously, because we've extended from this, we can take a lot of the functionality is sort of already baked into our cauliflower crop block class. But let's just take a look. What we're going to need is we're going to need a maximum age and an integer property. In our case, what we're going to have is a public static final int called max underscore age, which in this case is actually going to be six because our ages just go from zero to six instead of zero to seven. And then we're going to have a public static final. And this is an int property. And this is going to be the age. And this is equal to int property dot of name here is going to be age with a minimum of zero and a maximum of six. So of course, our age is going to start at age zero and then six is going to be the max age. Now, when we have this, there are a couple of methods that we always have to overwrite. The first one is, of course, the append properties method here in this case, because we have a custom block state property. And when we have this, well, then we need to call this method and add it to the builder just like this. This is always this is like mandatory. Otherwise, you will get an error and it's not going to work. A couple of other things we wanted to overwrite is the get max age method. The other thing is the get age property method. And here we wanted to make this public. That's just going to make our lives a little bit easier. And then we also wanted to get the get seeds item here in this case. And we're going to start from the bottom all the way to the top. So get max age obviously is simply going to be max age. Should be very self-explanatory here for the age property. You just return the age property. Fair enough. And then for the seeds item, we're going to make a deliberate error here because in this case, we don't actually have the seeds item registered yet. So of course we can't, you know, basically return them here. Once we have all of this, we can take a look at the crop block class again over here and we can see, well, there is this age to shape variable, this voxel shape. And the idea here is that when you have a any block, right, when you have any block and you look at it, then you have a certain outline of that block, but that you can basically see. And with crops, well, the outline changes depending on how far along the age of the crop is. So that, of course, seems like a very good idea. Now, there's two ways that we can do this. We could just make our own custom age to shape, uh, you know, voxel shape array over here and put it in here as well. However, in this case, this would also be fine because we should be using the same voxel shape over here. However, because of the way that this is set up and because we've overwritten the get age property method, it should use our custom age right here. So this should just work outright. If there are any issues, we're going to, of course, take a look at those. But for the time being, we're going to keep it like this and we're going to register our custom crop over here. So this is going to be in the mod blocks class, of course. And this is going to look kind of like this. We're going to make a public static final block. This is going to be the cauliflower underscore crop equal to. And now here we get to an interesting thing because, well, when we think about when we register a block, what are we doing? Well, we're first of all registering a block item and then we're registering the block. However, when we really think about this, do we want this? No, we actually do not. So what we're going to need is we want to duplicate the register block method and call it register block without block item and simply delete the first line inside of it so that we're only registering a block without a block item. Now, the reasoning here is, of course, when you have a crop, how do you place that down inside of the world? Well, you place it down with a seed. 
right? You don't place it down by having the crop and then you place the crop down. That doesn't really make any sense. So when we're registering the block right here, we actually don't want a like an automatic block item. We actually want this to well be done manually. So this is going to be the name cauliflower underscore crop. And then the second one is a new the second parameter is a new cauliflower crop block right here. And we're going to create the settings over here with the following settings. No collision, quite important. We're going to make it tick randomly. We're going to make it break instantly. We're going to make a sound and the sound is going to be block sound group of a crop in this case. And lastly, a piston behavior of destroy. We can also take a look at this if we press shift twice and look at the blocks class. And we're going to just do with this one right here. There we go. And we look at the, this would be the wheat block over here. We can see it basically takes in the same thing. The only thing that we haven't added here is the map color. That's going to be fine. We can also just add the map color here as well. There we go. Dark green. It doesn't really matter that much, but there you go. That is the cauliflower crop block registered. And that's pretty nice. Now, the next step then is to go to the items and actually register our custom item for it, which is, of course, going to be the seeds, right? Like I said, to actually set down a crop, we, of course, need the seeds. So these are also quite straightforward. Public static final. It's going to be an item. Once again, this is going to be the cauliflower underscore seeds equal to the register item method. Very straightforward. Cauliflower underscore seeds. I hope that I've written this correctly, which is a new alias block item passing in mod blocks dot this is going to be the cauliflower crop here as the first parameter and then just new item settings with really nothing going on. Then we want to add this to the item group as this is a thing that we are well, this is easy to forget, let's just say. So now the seeds are definitely in there and that is going to be great. Mod items can be closed, mod blocks can be closed and in the crop item class over here or in the crop block class, there you go. Here we can then return mod items that cauliflower seeds and the entire class here is done as well. But of course, we're not done quite just yet because the next step is going to be, of course, what is it? Yes, data gen. And we're going to have, first of all, some loot tables. Now, the loot table here, I will copy over and I will, well, you'll see why I copied over in just a second. But the idea is as follows. If we just copy this over and of course, as always, this is going to be available to you down below in the description in the GitHub repository. So you can basically double check from there. Now, what we have here is we have a block state property loot condition. Idea being that when the cauliflower crop is destroyed, then first of all, this loot condition has to be true. Otherwise, we're not going to drop certain things. Now, in this case, what we want to find out is if the cauliflower crop has the age property at exactly value six. So you can see that we're basically making it, hey, this is a state predicate. So we're saying the we have a certain thing that has to be true. And this thing has to be the exact match of the age property being six. Otherwise, we're not going to drop any cauliflower. Now, when I explain it like this, you might be like, okay, I'm not quite sure. But then when I say it in sort of a little bit more of an English way, I'm going to say, well, if the cauliflower crop isn't fully grown, then we're not going to drop cauliflowers. All of a sudden, you're like, oh yeah, okay, of course, right? That, that makes sense. This is literally how any other crop in Minecraft works. And this is just sort of codified in this case. So the value right here obviously has to be your max age. That's quite important. And if you wanted to get, you know, completely co correct, you could also do like max age right there, like this. Of course, it's fine. But basically, the idea is that it has to be the max age right here. And then it's going to drop some cauliflowers. Now, the cauliflower seeds right here in the crop drops method over here. You can see the seeds, the product. The seeds always drop. If I'm pretty sure at least one of them drops. And then when the when the thing is fully grown, there might be additional seeds that also drop. Of course, if you want to change any of this, you can take a look at the crops drops crop drops class or drop crop drops method. This is such a hard word to say for me. I don't even know why. But yeah, you can take a look at this and you can change this about as well. You know, highly recommended to do so. And then you should be good to go as well. With this done, the loot table is completed and we can move on to the model registration over here, which is going to be quite interesting indeed as well. Now, luckily, this one is super freaking simple. We can simply use the block state model generator and we want to register a crop. In this case, the crop here is going to be modblocks.cauliflower crop. Then we're going to put in the age. Now, what age are we going to put in? Of course, cauliflower crop block dot age. And then we're just going to put in indices and the indices go from zero all the way to six in this case. This is going to make it so that the model points to the right texture depending on the age property right here. Super freaking awesome. And the greatest thing is one line and we basically have it registered. And that is 
absolutely fantastic. Now, when it comes to anything else, I don't think we need to register anything else because if I recall correctly, the item over here, as you can see, is actually also automatically registered. So the seeds also will get done automatically, which is just absolutely freaking fantastic, right? That, that is awesome. And now once we have this, that is all fine and well. However, then the question is the following. And that is we want to now also make it that both of our cauliflower as well as our seeds, right, that both of those are also compostable. And the way to do this is we're going to go to our tutorial mod class over here and we're simply going to add the following composting chains registry dot instance dot add. And we're going to add mod items dot cauliflower. Let's say the cauliflower has a high value over here. So 50% of the time the cauliflower gets turned into you know, a bone meal progress inside of the composting or a composter. And then the seeds over here, maybe they have a little bit of a less of a time, maybe, you know, 25% of the chance. And that is literally it. That's like for composting, I mean, super freaking simple. Obviously, once again, if you don't want to clutter up your own initialize method, you could also just make a method for this, right? If you have like 20, 80 different things that you can compost, obviously make a custom class, right? Mod compostables and stuff like that. That is sort of basic Java stuff shouldn't be too crazy in this case. Now that we have all of the code done, I'm pretty sure that all of the code should be done. We can move on to the different assets, of course. Now, when it comes to the assets, of course, the translation here is super simple. This is just the cauliflower seeds. However, I do advise you to also use the cauliflower crop over here to just add this translation as well, because if you have anything installed where when you look at a block, it shows you the translation, then it usually takes this translation for the block. So, you know, adding this really, it doesn't, it's not like that big of a deal. It's not going to take a, you know, a thousand uh, hours to add this. You know, it's like a half a second to add this and there you go. Highly recommended to do so. And once we have this, we can go on to the textures. Now, the textures, as per usual, will be available to you down below. First ones we're going to copy over are, of course, the cauliflower crop over here. You can see cauliflower underscore crop underscore stage. And then we're going to go through from zero to, well, in this case, a fully grown cauliflower, which looks absolutely freaking fantastic, by the way, to stage, stage six. And we also need to add the seeds. It's very easy to forget the seeds over here, cauliflower seeds. And we're just going to add those. There we go. And that should basically be everything we're going to need. I'm just sort of thinking in my mind, but I think that should be it. So let's first of all, of course, as always, run the data gen in here so that all of the different JSON files are generated, you know, mainly basically the loot table as well as the different model JSON files that point to all of the different textures. So let's just let this run through and then we're going to see. And then we have a 10 JSON files written. And with this done, well, let's jump into the game and see if it works. All right, fans are back in Minecraft and let's just see. And oh, we have something else that we, of course, have to do. Now, we had this before, but we haven't seen this yet. And of course, the issue is that the different textures over here have, well, I mean, as you can clearly see, a lot of like alpha pixels, meaning that they are pixels that you can see through, right? If we basically take a look at this, obviously, this is a 16 by 16 image. However, there's a lot of pixels that we can literally see through. Now, if we have this, of course, we need to define this and we need to define this inside of our tutorial mod client over here, which we've done but previously with both the door as well as the trap door. So we're, of course, going to add this as well. This is going to be the cauliflower crop and adding this will basically fix that issue. And then we're no longer plagued by weird textures. Absolutely freaking fantastic. And now, of course, we can also have this grow. So you can see if I use bone meal on this, this is starting to grow. And then this is the fully grown one. Absolutely freaking fantastic. I really love it. This is awesome. And if I switch to survival with the fully grown one, you can see I get myself a delicious cauliflower as well as a couple of seeds. And of course, the non-grown ones, well, those don't work, right? Even if they're like almost entirely up, except if they are, then there you go. Absolutely freaking fantastic. And that is custom props added to Minecraft. Awesome. And that's going to be it for this tutorial right here. Next time in this video, we'll add a custom bush. Hope to see you there. So. Yeah.